Hi guys, it's Connie from Say It With Simplicity here with another Silhouette Studio tutorial. And today I wanted to talk to you about point editing in Silhouette Studio. And so this is one of the things that I use the most when I'm designing things. And so I really wanted to take you through this because it's a really important tool if you want to create some of your own designs. So I'm going to start out by drawing a basic rectangle. And let's give that a brighter color because I need it today. And now if I click on this Edit Points tool, it takes me to this um, Quick Access toolbar up here again. And there's things I can do. But if I go back and I double click on this, it opens up that um, same um, thing over here in a panel and so either way you know you're going to get to the same point um, so one of the things that I like to do is add edit points now if I go here and you can see I'm sort of between like a couple of squares and I can see where the center of that is I can actually let's zoom in on that If you go here, you have the hand, but if you go back a little bit, you get that little arrow with a line behind it, and you can add an edit point right there. And now if I want to, say I wanted to make a banner for a card, um, maybe I want to make an arrow for a sign design that I want to create, I can pull that edit point back. And now I've created that little flag at the end that I can use, um, you know, I could stamp on this if it were on a card. But now let's look at that again. All right, excuse my dog there. He gets a little bit excited when other dogs walk by, so he kind of made a little noise there. But if I go back here to this, um, other side of my design, I can find that spot where I have the little arrow with the line behind it, and I can add that edit point. And now, if I want to, I can stretch that out. I can move this panel if I want to so that it's not in my way. And I can, you know, make a really cool arrow here for design and then I could put text on there or you know anything I wanted to maybe I'm making some little stickers that are printing cut or you know something else and so that's one of the ways that I use the point editing tool in Silhouette Studio so let's delete that one and let's draw a circle now I'm gonna hold down my shift key remember if you hold down your shift key and drag your mouse you're gonna draw a perfect circle let go of your mouse first and then your shift key and it'll work every time and let's change that to I like this pretty aqua color I guess and so now I'm going to click on my circle and I have four edit points. Now if you've been following any of my tutorials in Silhouette Studio, you can go back to the one about drawing a heart in Silhouette Studio. And when I click on these, you get these handles that you can drag to um, create, you know, different shapes and variations of shapes. So let's undo that all. But I'm going to click on that and I can um, click on corner. And that is going to make each of the sides of the, this handle move in their own separate direction. But first of all, I'm going to take and grab this. And you can see I have a little square there behind the arrow now. I'm going to drag this up and 
this was kind of um, the same as my egg tutorial that I had. But now let me drag down this handle and drag down this handle. And I am viewing this in Silhouette Standard Edition and only using these edit points to make this. But now wouldn't that just make like a cute little raindrop or something um, for you? And it's just super easy. Let me go up here, help. I can view in the business edition. And if you go to business edition, you have like all these flexi shapes. Let's go here and do that flexi shape. And that is great. I love being able to use my flexi shapes in silhouette business. But if you're in standard edition, you can do that um, raindrop using that silhouette um, edit, editing points all by yourself in standard edition. So let's delete that. And I'm going to go back to standard edition. And so you can see I don't have any of those flexi shapes anymore, but we drew it, right? Um, so let's delete that one. And let's draw another circle. And we can hold down our shift key, drag that. And I've released too soon. Let's try that again. Release mouse first, then shift key, and now you have your perfect circle. And oh, let's color this purple this time. And so now I have this circle. And if I click on these editing points, I don't know why my page setup panel opened up here, but anyway, um, if I click on one point, I can, um, you know, add these handles to it, but it only adds the handles to the selected point. Now, if I hold down my shift key, I can go to all of these points and I can add that curve um, tool to all of them so that I can, you know, you know, decide which ones to use at what given point. But now if I go to my settings or preferences panel, I can open up my preferences panel. I can go to tools and if you go down to this show Bezier control handles for selected points only or you can go to all points and you can click on OK. Now when that shape is selected and you go to that point editing mode, they all automatically have um, those handles. So that's just a couple ways that you can do that. You can either hold down your shift key and select all of them or you can set that in your preferences to begin with. So I'm going to go back and set that back to selected points only. Okay, I can also select a point and I can break path. And that comes in handy if I want to join a couple shapes together. I can, um, now you can see that this is just a line. But if I go back, it'll um, hold back to itself. And now I have a shape, a solid shape again. Um, the simplify comes in handy when you have like a whole lot of edit points. Like maybe you have some complicated text. Um, a complicated shape and you want to make it into something less complex it'll just have less editing points and so that's what you use the simplify pattern for um, I can delete a point and now that makes it into a, a different shape altogether
let's draw another um, shape. This time I'm going to draw a square. And um, I'm going to choose orange this time. And I'm going to edit points. And I'm going to put a point here in the center of my square. And now I'm going to delete this point. And I'm going to select that point and delete it. And now I have a triangle. Now you can draw a triangle by going to this shapes panel and draw a regular polygon. Um, you can, this says five, it's hard to see, but you can move that handle and take it down to three and get a triangle. But I mean, this is just really slick way to be able to create a shape, um, you know, just using that point editing panel. So there's really a lot that you can do with that point editing panel. Um, I would definitely check it out. If you're new to Silhouette Studio and this was helpful to you, um, I hope that you'll um, comment down below. Um, like I said, this is one of the most used um, tools for me when I'm designing things. Um, probably that in the text tool. but you know, like I said, if this is helpful, I would love to hear your comments down below. Did you learn something today? And if you like this video and you want more tutorials to come your way, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And as things come up, questions get asked, I will definitely, you know, try to work on some of those things. I've been using Silhouette Studio for several years now and I have an Etsy shop where I design um, and where I sell some of my designs and you know I just really love to be able to help out people who you know want to enjoy the Silhouette Studio software and learn some things about how to use it. So thanks for coming by today and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.